Hey, beloved family. So, I'm doing something a little bit different today. I know the Lord Jesus is so close to coming to get his church. And I wasn't going to do this, but I'd rather be caught standing up for the truth. And that's what I'm going to do today. Guys, I follow several channels on YouTube that I know have an amazing heart for the Lord. And I really adore them and respect them. But there's some things that we disagree on. And this is not aimed at anyone in particular. Okay? This is not that. I'm not coming against anyone. Okay? I'm just going to stand up for the truth. There are many, many doctrines. But there's only one truth, and that's God's Word. My walk with the Lord, when it began, I studied every day, all day, for at least a year and a half. Getting to the truth of the gospel was the hardest part. And I'm going to tell you right now, the rapture is part of the grace gospel. If you don't understand the grace gospel, which is the key to understanding the scriptures, you're not going to understand anything. The key to the scriptures is the salvation. Okay, and that's what we're going to talk about. So, this is from Revelation 3, Laodicea. Let's read it together. Because thou sayest, because, because you say, okay, I am rich, I am increased with goods, and I have need of nothing. And knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. Okay? Why do they think the rich family increased with goods? And then the Lord says they're wretched, miserable, poor, blind, and naked. You want to know why they're poor, blind, and naked? They're naked because they're not covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. They're blind because they don't understand the gospel of their salvation. And do not have the Holy Spirit to open up their eyes. They're poor because they believe their works are earning them rewards in heaven. But the Lord's saying, no, you're poor. You're going about it the wrong way. You think you're increased with goods. You think that you are rich. Because you believe all these good works out here you're doing is making you so. He goes on to say, I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire. What is tried in the fire, family? Our rewards at the Bema Seat Judgment. You have to interpret scripture with scripture. Our rewards are tried by fire. And they can burn up as wood, hay, and stubble. Okay? He, the Lord is saying, I cancel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire. Meaning, your works are dead works of the flesh. 
unless you have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ and received his Holy Spirit of promise that seals you until the day of redemption. And then the Holy Spirit comes in and he teaches you how to live for Christ and how to do good works. I cancel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that thy shame of thy nakedness do not appear, clothed with the blood of Jesus Christ, and anoint thine eyes with eye salve, the Holy Spirit opens your eyes, believing and seeing that thou mayest see. This right here has counterfeit Christianity all over it. As an example, Catholicism, which is really Satanism cloaked in Christianity. But the people who are brought up and raised in that, are do, they don't know it. They're blind. They, they don't even see the forest for the trees. Laodicea is not born again. Nothing about this church describes a born again believer. Because when you're born again, you're clothed with the blood of Jesus Christ, and that's it, and that's all. Okay? So now we've got Laodicea out of the way. The first rule in understanding the scriptures is 2 Timothy 2.15. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. You have to learn this. You have to learn how to rightly divide. Because all of the scriptures are for us to read, but not all of the scriptures are written to us, the church. This teaching of partial rapturism, people go to the Olivet Discourse to cherry pick verses and create this partial rapturism doctrine. The Olivet Discourse, Matthew, Mark, Luke, is written to the Jews during the dispensation of Jacob's, tr Jacob's trouble. Daniel's 70th week. The seven year tribulation judgment. Excuse me. It's not written to you, the church. None of it. The rapture is not in there. Okay? Paul revealed the rapture. And we're going to talk a lot about it, guys. All right? You got to rightly divide the scriptures. Hebrews is written to the Hebrews. James is written to the 12 tribes of Israel. Guys, the left behind got to have scriptures to navigate through the dispensation of Jacob's trouble. We are in the dispensation of grace, the church age. Okay? The dispensation of the grace. You have to understand this. There are dis different dispensations in God's Word. When Jesus was on the earth, He hadn't went to the cross yet. Okay? He was preaching the kingdom gospel. He was preaching to Jews. The church wasn't born until Jesus went to the cross, died on the cross, and rose again, okay? And then he sent the Holy Spirit. When, the, when they just received the Holy Spirit at Pentecost, that's when the church was born, okay? Paul is the apostle for the church. I cannot say this enough. The ten virgins is not to the church. They are bridesmaids. They are left behind Jews. Okay? 
Stop going to the ten virgins. It's got nothing to do with you. Let's clarify this. First John 5, 5. The overcomers. Who is he that overcometh? The world. But he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. You overcome by believing. That's it. Do you know the gospel of your salvation? The word repent is from the Greek word metanoia. It literally means a change of mind. You change your mind. Repent and believe. Change your mind from not believing that Jesus is who he says he is. To believing that Jesus is who he says he is. You believe in his death, his burial, and his resurrection for the atonement of your sins. You accept him, accept him as your Lord and your Savior. Okay? You do this one time. After you receive the gospel, you have to hear it preached, understand it, and receive it. Okay? It's believe. Believe, 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 faith, faith, grace, grace, all right? Once you do this, you're sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise until the day of redemption. Ephesians 1.13 In whom ye also trusted, after that you heard the word of truth, the gospel of of your salvation in whom also after that you believed okay after you heard the gospel of your salvation the word of truth in whom all also after that you believed you believed the gospel you heard it you believed it then you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise in Ephesians 4 30 and grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby you are sealed until the day of redemption. That's it. It's cut and dry. We're all sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. We have the seal of the true and living God upon us, of His Holy Spirit. Nothing can change that. We cannot change that. You can't send your way out of it. You can't do anything to loosen the seal of the true and living God. Okay? Everyone who is sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise goes in the rapture. And I got a lot more. I want to talk about Rose Shade's vision here really quick. She gets a vision of two doves landing on her. And they got little triangles on their stomachs or stomach area and went to her forehead as if to seal her right and then two doves landed on another girl who was uh, in shock didn't even know what was happening right the Lord was showing Roche and everybody else that everybody no matter whether they know about the rapture don't believe in the rapture no matter what if they're sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, they're going. If you get visions and dreams, if they aren't related to the scriptures, you throw them out. This vision and this dream is Ephesians. It is Ephesians. The Lord was showing us Stop partial rapturism. Everybody who's sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise is going. Are you going to believe him? This is aimed at everybody who is teaching this. You know what this does, family? 
I had to turn off my Wi-Fi, and guess what? It was 321 that just popped up. Anyway, this causes fear in the believer. It causes fear in the believer. I noticed everybody who, who believes in this, I believe that they're a part of this Philadelphia church. The only church that gets to go when the scriptures don't say anything like that. Nowhere does Paul say, if you're not the Philadelphia church, you don't go in the rapture. Nowhere. Nowhere do those scriptures say that you don't go in the rapture. When the Bible was first written, there was no chapters. There were no periods. It ran together. Okay? So, the churches, the, all the churches are kept out. Okay? That's the last thing that's said. It all ran together. You have to study with people who study the Greek and the Hebrew and get it all, family. You can't... <sighs> You have to always look through the lenses of the gospel. Everything you read, you look through the lenses of the gospel of salvation. It is arrogant. It is prideful to think you're the special church and that you're going to get to go boast in heaven about what a good Christian you were. Because... There's scripture that says the opposite. You understand this? Well, I'm praying more than everybody else. I'm praying to be worthy to escape, which isn't even written to the church. But that's one of the things they use for this false doctrine. Guys, it's false. I, I'm not going to mince words. It's false. All right? And I'm going to prove it. We're not better. Nobody's better because they're watching for the Lord. Nobody's better because they know about the rapture. We're all still filthy. Our works are filthy rags to a holy God. You understand this? You can't please God without faith. What is the commandment of the Father? To believe on the one He sent, Jesus Christ. Believe. It's all through. Scripture. Believe. 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 And do not be deceived. Do not be deceived. Right? For by grace, 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 you have been saved through your faith and that not, no, not a bit of yourself. It is the gift of God. Not as a result of works, so that no one may boast. Do you understand this? The rapture family is not a reward. It's part of the grace gospel. If I were to be left behind, because I'm sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, and I get grabbed up by the Antichrist and his people, right? They take me to some prison and they start torturing me. And I just can't take it. Right? And I take the mark of the beast. It doesn't matter because I can't lose my salvation or else God is a liar. Because I'm sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Until my day of redemption. Which is the rapture resurrection. Nothing can pluck me from the Father's hand. Including the mark of the beast. I have eternal life. You can't change the word eternal. You have eternal life if you believe on Jesus Christ. Stop twisting the scriptures stop changing the words if you add to or take away from you are accursed that's the truth
And I know all of you just love Catholicism, right? Ron Rhodes, quote, Some claim the partial rapture theory amounts to a Protestant version of purgatory. And that's exactly what it is. Well, you've been a bad Christian, so you've got to go through the tribulation to straighten you out, right? Right? That's the same as the Catholics saying, you don't go straight to heaven, you go to purgatory. Same exact thing. Do you see the problem? Guys, wake up, please. Purgatory. This is Andy Woods. I'm going to leave the link in the description box. And I'm going to challenge every one of you, if you have an issue with this, to go and watch all eight sermons on this subject of partial rapturism. All eight. See, when I was studying, guys, I didn't just look at one angle. I even listened to some Seventh-day Seventh -day Adventist, Avid, I can't pronounce it, Adventists. All right. It didn't take me long to figure out that it was all heretical. But I learned something about them so that I can argue against the heresy. So go and learn and understand how he disproves this theory and proves the truth through God's holy scriptures. Ephesians 1 3 Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. Every spiritual blessing includes glorification which is at the rapture. The Lord justifies us Okay, that's instantaneous when we believe we're born again. Then we go through the sanctification process, which that's the problem. Everybody mixes discipleship with salvation. No. It's a lifelong process. And the Holy Spirit is faithful to finish what he has started in us. Finish it. He who has done, started a good work in us is faithful to finish it. Finish it means the end. Glorification. We are not left behind. Nobody is left behind. Every spiritual blessing. You cannot change the word every spiritual blessing. It means everything. That's what every means, okay? This is the nail in the coffin of partial rapturism. Genesis 19.22 Like the days of Noah, but it's also like the days of Lot. Guys, Lot was a disgrace. He received grace because of faith. He was a carnal Christian at best. He lived... Very shady. And that's putting it mildly. Hurry, escape there. For I cannot do anything until you arrive there. This is the angel talking to Lot. Right before the Lord God destroys Sodom and Gomorrah. I cannot do anything until you arrive there. Meaning, if you, until you leave Lot, we can't destroy the city. Why? Because God's divine wrath cannot fall on the city while a righteous man is still in it. While a righteous man was in Sodom and Gomorrah, God's divine wrath could not fall on that city. Lot, I just told you, 
was a carnal Christian. He was given up. He, he offered his virgin daughters up so they could just take them and do whatever they wanted to with them. I'm trying to be PG here, okay? But it's very graphic and very disgusting. Incest, all kinds of stuff going on here, guys. Y'all know. If you don't, you need to go study it. Or at least listen to Andy explain it to you. Lot was a carnal Christian. I know the word Christian didn't exist back then, but he was found righteous because he had faith and God gave him grace. We're in the dispensation of the grace. All right? God's not a liar. Listen to this. The rapture was given to the Corinthians first. The church of Corinth, right? The Corinthians were carnal Christians too. And they were the ones that received the rapture doctrine first. Okay? And listen to this. Now I say this, brethren, that the flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but we will all be changed. That means the dead in Christ and those of us who are alive and remain. That don't say all, uh, but this church and that church and Tyra, Tyra and this one. No, Sardis, no. It doesn't say all, but it just says all. We will all be changed. That is cut and dry. You cannot change God's word. All of us. And you know, family, the dead in Christ are going in the rapture too. That means all the carnal Christians that died and went to heaven are going to get glorified at the rapture and resurrected. It is a rapture and a resurrection. They're no more special than we are. They... they <laughs> don't have to go through God's divine wrath because they were living carnally at the time of their death. Right? Are you understanding the logic behind all this? There is no logic behind all this. It's got to stop. It's prideful. It's boastful. And it's false. We will all not almost all, not all but anybody else, we will all be changed. For even as the body is one, and yet has many members, and all the members of the body, though they are many, are one body, so also is Christ. We are the body of Christ. We have different members. He is also the head of the body, the church. One church. Not different churches. One church. Christ is the head. Everybody who is born again is the body. Do you really think Jesus is going to cut off his legs and only take Half of the body up to heaven. He's going to leave some toes behind and some fingers. He's not going to take his entire body. That means all, family. All means all. Eternal means eternal. Sealed means sealed. That is it. Lot was a carnal Christian. Divine wrath cannot fall on this earth. The first seal to the last bowl is the wrath of the Lamb, Jesus Christ, the eternal God, the Son, Jesus Christ. It is divine wrath. You are not understanding the hell that's coming. You're not getting it. It's going to make the flood look like a cakewalk, people. And everybody died in the flood. It's going to be bad. You're not understanding divine wrath. He cannot pour divine wrath on this earth while a righteous man is still on it. I just showed you the scripture in Genesis. I cannot do anything until you're out of here. You understand, guys? I'm sorry if I 
seem a little rough. But y'all, if you've been following me a long time, guys, you know I cannot stand these fearful doctrines. I don't like them at all. It's wrong. Because it's not the truth. All means all. Eternal means eternal. Sealed <laughs> means sealed. We are saved by grace. Grace is something you cannot earn. It's something you don't deserve. It is a gift of God. And our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ through His grace is all that saves us. No one is going to get to go to heaven saying, well, I made it in the rapture because I'm the church of Philadelphia. It's not going to happen. Nope. Nope. Study. Rightly divide. 2 Timothy 2.15 For even as the body is one, and yet has many members, and all the members of the body, though they are many, are one body, so also in Christ. For by one Spirit, we were all baptized, all into the body. Whether Jews or Greeks, whether slaves or free, we were all made to drink of one spirit. God is not an Indian giver. There would be no even, it wouldn't be necessary to have a beam of seat judgment for rewards if the rapture was your reward. It's ridiculous, and it's false. We will all go before the Lord at the Bema Seat Judgment, and there are going to be people who hold their head down in shame. They will be the least in the kingdom. They won't receive many rewards. They will not have high positions in God's kingdom. And this is an eternal issue, right? But... They are still going. They still go. That's the whole point in the Bema Seat Judgment is to sort it all out on who gets what for how they lived for Christ. Jesus didn't come to die so that we could earn our way into heaven. It's ridiculous. He didn't come down here to this earth, live like a man, Get up on a cross. Before he got on the cross, he was beaten half to death. Get up on a cross, become nailed to it, bleed out every drop of his blood. He was betrayed, humiliated. And say, it is finished. So that we could save ourselves. Do you hear yourself when you say these things? You're blaspheming the Lord Jesus Christ. You're saying that He is not enough. He's just not enough to save me. And the rapture is part of the grace gospel. Whether you're a carnal Christian or you're a self-righteous, pompous Christian because there is no real good Christians, I'm tired of hearing it. It's self-righteousness. Me, 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 me. None are worthy but Jesus. None. And it is only by His blood, His sacrifice, that any of us get salvation and go in the rapture. He is the only one worthy. And the only way to be without spot, wrinkle, or blemish is to be covered by His holy, precious blood. Jesus Christ will get every bit of the glory when we all go in the rapture. Every single one of us. Because all means all will be changed. The dead and the living. Entire body. It is our faith in Him that saves us. Through His precious grace. Now go watch and study all eight sermons. He's got over 70 rapture sermons. Disproving all these crazy doctrines coming out. He... Proves and disproves. He gives both sides of the argument. 
I was caught up in this when all this first happened. That's why I went and found it out and prayed and studied. You can't pick up the book and not know how to rightly divide it. All means all. Eternal means eternal. Sealed by God is sealed by God. He's not cut. Jesus isn't cutting off his toes. His fingers. His legs. His arms. And only taking the good Christians. The good part of the body. Like he's going to tear up his body. It's ridiculous. And it's got to be purged. Alright family. I love you guys. If this offends you, I'm sorry. The truth always does. I love all of you. But this I will not change on. Alright, I have got some confirmations I'm going to come back and share. I got a confirmation yesterday. It's pretty awesome. So I'm going to do a rapture video. Guys, stop instilling fear in believers. There's no partial rapturism. There's going to be tribulation saints. None of those people are born again. That's why they are left behind. And then they become tri tribulation saints. We are not going, no believers going through purgatory of God's divine wrath. It's not going to happen. He cannot judge this earth until all the righteous are removed. And Lot was living like the devil. But he had to be taken out of Sodom and Gomorrah before God could rain down fire. So, hello, come on. Study, guys, please. All right. I mean, granted, listen, nobody wants to be the least in the kingdom. Confessing your sins to the Lord is great. Trying to do your best is great. Nobody wants, I mean, some people might want to be the least in the kingdom or might not care. They still get to go. But they're going to be ashamed when they get there. Nobody condones sin. Nobody condones living like Lot. Are you a lot like Lot? Well, you get to go. Right? You understand? I do not ever want to disappoint my Lord. But I know I probably do it daily. And when I do that, I always tell him I'm sorry. But guys... That does not save me. And that does not make me go in the rapture. Only he gets the glory. And to say otherwise is saying that Jesus just isn't enough. Alright. Talk soon. God bless.